on, on its automatic sequence. We have power on. With We're listening to launch control. Telling us that at uh, six minutes on. and ten the seconds, the light is on. The ready light is on. System also and is all is going well. The countdown the continues. Systems go. The astronauts now standing by in the spacecraft. Coming up shortly will be some status checks here in the firing room. This is Kennedy Launch Control. Still go with Apollo 12 at five minutes, 52 seconds and counting. Well, it doesn't look like very much, but there it is. You can hardly see it in the uh, heavy rain and the mist that has moved in there. It's a very heavy mist, I should say, across the launch area at Cape Kennedy. As you read the clock ticking away, five minutes and 30 seconds to launch before they actually get started. Jules, I'll bet you're glad you're inside. Yes, Frank, we uh, wanted to do a, an O naturel launch up on our <laughs> space headquarters roof as per usual, and uh, sound flight judgment prevailed, conservative mis mission planning. We elected to move down at the last minute. Uh, we would have been soaked by now, as would all of other people. And there's our view of uh, pad 39 from one of the NASA overhead cameras. The liquid oxygen continuing. Here's launch control. Swing arm number nine will now be coming back to its fully retracted position at the pad. Mark, the swing arm now moving back from the spacecraft as planned at the five minute mark in the count. Just before coming up on the swing arm removal, we went through our final status checks and received a loud and strong go from the mission director, Chet Lee, launch operations manager, Paul Donnelly, and launch director, Walt Caprian, responding to the request from the test supervisor. The lights now will be coming on on the abort panels of astronaut Pete Conrad. These are his Q lights for the five engines in the first stage. These five lights remain on. When we get proper thrust for liftoff, the lights go out, informing the spacecraft commander that he has good thrust beneath them. We're coming up now on the four-minute mark. Pete Conrad reports his lights are on. Spacecraft test conductor Skip Chauvin has said, have a good trip, Pete. Pete reported back, uh, we appreciate everything everyone has done. Four minutes and counting, still proceeding at this time. We'll be coming up on our automatic sequence at three minutes and 10 seconds in the countdown. We're going through our final astro launch checks at this time as the countdown continues. During these checks just now, the launch operations manager, Paul Donnelly, said to Pete Conrad, the launch team wishes you good luck. May the wind be always behind you. Pete Conrad said, thank you very much. Count still continuing. Final checks of the guidance and navigation system going on now. Pete Conrad reporting back on their status. We'll be coming up on the automatic sequence in about 10 seconds. From that time on down, we're completely automatic, leading up to 8.9, the 8.9 second mark in the count when we get the ignition sequence. Mark, firing command. sequence start. We have the firing command. We're on automatic sequence. T minus three minutes and counting. T minus three. Once the automatic sequence began, we begin pressurizing those big fuel and oxidizer tanks, the overall propeller tanks, in the three stages of the Saturn V launch vehicle. This will lead us up to 8.9 seconds when the engine ignition sequence begins. The five engines in the first stage will ignite, building up 7.6 million pounds thrust total. This should occur at the zero mark in the count. We will get verification through the computer that we have proper th thrust. The hold down arms will release and will be off with Apollo 12. Two minutes, 20 seconds, and counting at this time. And the visibility has improved just a little bit over pad 39. Still not very noticeably, though. Seconds at this time, we see that the stages are now beginning to pressurize as our countdown proceeds. Coming up on the two minute mark in the count. T minus two minutes and counting. T minus two. Spacecraft commander now has placed the, the environmental control system of the spacecraft on internal. Up to this time, we've been providing external sources for the environmental control system. We've, we're checking the hydraulics of the first stage of the launch vehicle now. We are still go. One minute, 40 seconds, and counting at this time. Of the uh, big tanks, a minute and a half to launch, and let's listen to the voice of Our Jack King. Board here in firing room two indicates all is still well with the countdown. Third stage tanks now pressurized as the automatic sequence continues. 
One minute, 15 seconds and counting. Astronaut Alan Bean has just brought the entry batteries on the main power source in the spacecraft. We've conserved those batteries up to this time. We're coming up on 60 seconds. Mark, T minus 60 seconds and counting, T minus 60. Alan Bean running up the volume on his VHF. That's his radio. We've got 50 uh, seconds and counting. 50. Well, we've we got have our gone internal power with the launch vehicle. We've got our the binoculars out here, but don't think we're going to be able to use them on this cloud cover. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The spacecraft commander now performing his final function, pressing a button to align the guidance and control system of the spacecraft. Coming up on 30. Mark, T minus 30 seconds and counting, T minus 30. 25 seconds and counting, we're still proceeding. Another wave of that rain T minus sweeping 20. across the Cape right now. 17 seconds, swing arm back. We have guidance internal. 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. All engines running. Commit. Liftoff. We have liftoff. 11.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pete Conrad reports the your program is in. Tower clear. We I'm pitching a roll program and this baby is really going. Pete. Pete Conrad reporting the roll and pitch program to put Apollo 12 on the proper course. Houston, try SCE to auxiliary, over. NCE to auxiliary. SCE, SCE to auxiliary. ECOM reports the readings back. Mark, one Charlie. One Charlie. Flight director. Jerry Griffin taking a staging status now. Apollo 12 down ran range 17 miles. Altitude 20 miles. Apollo 12 Houston, try to reset your fuel cells now. Conrad is having trouble. He doesn't say exactly. Inboard engine out on schedule. First stage inboard en engine began to go out, but there's fuel cell. There are fuel cell problems. Uh, the flight director has told the crew to try to switch fuel cells. Altitude 33 miles, downrange 45 miles. It sounds like a lot of plugs somehow got disconnected during the takeoff. Roger, we copy, Pete. You're looking good. Good staging and good thrust on the second stage. Now there are problems here. I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm not sure we can get hit by lightning. Your thrust is looking good, Pete. Okay, I have a good GDC, and Al has got the fuel cells back on, and we'll be working on our AC buses. Right, Pete, your uh, fuel cells look good down here. And that was Conrad saying he may have been hit by lightning that may have caused the electrical circuits to go out. Amen. I know. The tower gang has the way clean. It looks good. Good show, Pete. You're in mode two. Launch escape tower has been jettisoned on schedule. 
And uh, whatever the problem Can was, the from lightning hitting the spacecraft, as Conrad seems to have thought it was, but there's no confirmation, they, the crew has successfully recovered and regained full electrical power. Their AC buses and the fuel cells are working. And the mission is continuing. Bother me particularly, and we have reset all the fuel cells. We have all the buses back on the line, and we'll just square up the platform when we get into orbit. Roger, Pete. That sounds good. Hey, that's one of the better sims, believe me. That's Pete Conrad saying one of the better simulations we've had. We've had a couple of cardiac arrests down here too, Pete. Taking off through the storm. Many times we've had up here. Well, we've got a good uh, clock running here, and uh, correct me, I'm going to give you a mark at 4 plus 30. I've lost my event timer, and um, mark 4 plus 30. Looks good, Pete. Okay, well organized.